Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. Behind me, TWC, the watch company. We're here in Nakano, or Nakano as I like to call it, and this is a great watch shopping area. This is an arcade, and behind me is really where the watch shops start. But before you get into Nakano Broadway, um, you gotta hit TWC and they've got a lot of really expensive pieces, high premiums, but really, really good examples. And uh, you're not allowed to film inside, or are you? With some covert video taken, perhaps. On an unrelated note, let's check out some watches. All right, so some modern OPs, that turquoise and coral dial are 36 millimeter watches. Hey, look, another 36 millimeter watch to the right. That's probably what I'd be buying. I mean, that's a discontinued 369 dial and much better price. GMT Master II, this is approaching $20,000. Both no holes cases, mid 2000s pieces, a couple of 40 millimeter black dialed Explorer twos. Feel free to pause the video. This is what a panicked covert video looks like. Okay, I was allowed to film this so I can take a little bit more time. The Cloisonne dial, Patek Philippe, World Time. Heavy watch, surprisingly heavy, over $100,000 in the hand right here. Let me tell you, if you wanna transport a lot of money across borders, I think this is the way to do it. Interesting and beautiful enamel art on the dial. And you know who is a fan of enamel? Hans Wilsdorf himself, he collected it. He had a collection of enamel pieces. A couple of no-date subs, prices approaching $20,000, but it says they're new. You gotta wonder, are they really new old stock or just really good nick? A Rolex Sermit, notice they cover up the serial number on the Rehot so you can't track it. Next to it, an outrageously priced Hulk, an all-steel 36 millimeter date just with a Wimbledon dial, Absolutely beautiful. I loved it. I would pull the trigger on this in a second if I saw it in an AD. Much cooler in the flesh than in pictures. Let me tell you, Marcelo is a great guy to go watch shopping with. He bugs the hell out of the staff. He speaks at a volume 11 and has them pull out pieces left and right, including that Patek Philippe. So the staff was hiding in the back while I was taking this. So you guys have Marcelo to thank for this footage. A couple of ceramic GMT Master 2s. Great to see them side by side. And the blue is so much more... Um, you know, beautiful on the BLNR, I think. Both are great watches. And then a very expensive Milgauss there. Before that, we saw kind of an expensive Air King to the right, a Yacht Master. One of my favorite Omegas. It's all about that second hand. All right, a handful of Tudor Royals. Mm, very polarizing watch, says the guy wearing an Iconaut. Some Tudor Divers on the left, a blue Pelagos. And then you've got the Black Bay Line. Now, Right there, that's a twenty plus thousand dollar gold tutor. I mean, it, to me, it kind of looks like a bronze watch, and that's what I would assume if I saw it on somebody's wrist. You've got the GMT tutor right there, and this is a bronze watch. And I'm glad they're starting to do those on bracelets and not just the NATO straps. Really attractive watch. I mean, it's got that warm gold look. Now they had it all wrapped up because they don't want it to patina, and that's. Uh, one kind of interesting question, how is it going to patina? Is it going to turn green? Is it going to turn dark and ugly or, you know, beautiful and stately? I don't know, but all wrapped up and they were very particular about, okay, you can't wind it. You basically can't touch it because patina, they don't want it on there yet. Now this is gold and the gold's not going to patina, but this sterling silver Tudor will tarnish. And actually there was a little bit of tarnish on the back. The shop staff said, to be honest, you couldn't really tell, but I guess somebody touched it by accident. Kind of interesting. You can get precious metal divers on NATO straps. I mean, one looks steel, one looks bronze, but uh, we're looking at a couple precious metal divers in the Tudor line. Very interesting, very attractive watches, but boy, that kind of price, I couldn't justify it myself. But what about you? What did you guys see that you liked in this video? Drop a comment in the comment section. Consider subscribing. Be sure to give this video a like. More to come. Thanks. Take care. I'll see you next time.